Hello and welcome back to my channel, everyone. It is your girl, Cassandra Olivia. If you have not, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We are almost at 170,000 subscribers. Like, I just cannot believe this. Like, just a small girl from Delaware, just trying to show y'all a couple things that I do and showing you guys what I love. So I have my amazing client here. Her name is Alicia. If you guys saw my red video that I just posted, that was her mom. So we had a mom and daughter duo literally coming a couple days within each other. Originally, Alicia wanted some red hair and I was going to freestyle her and her mom. But then ultimately, we decided we wanted to go a different route. So she wanted to go for a two-tone look. She did want to do blonde on the top with like a more um, sandy brown on the bottom. Um, but because she did just deliver a baby about a month and a half ago, um, and she was experiencing some postpartum shedding and some hair loss. I didn't want to lift her up too blonde. So we are going to do part two to this video if she decides to go lighter. But I just want to be that. Um, I just want to make that known. If you have a client that's, you know, having some hair issues and they want to go super light or be lifted super light. You just want to make sure that you're careful and you consult with your client. Um, she's been coming to me for a while, but she did let me know prior to her appointment. So I did feel comfortable enough going in and lightening her and of course using Olaplex. But um, without further ado, Make sure you hit that like button. We're going to get straight into the video and then I'll finish explaining in just a second. So here I am. I'm going in with my Wella Blondor and I believe that I was going in with a 20 volume, 7 volume. I'm not sure. I'll put it in the description box. I'm so sorry, but I literally did this like a month ago and I'm too lazy to look at my phone. But you'll literally see everything in the description box exactly what I use because I do make sure to put all the details on my client's appointment. Actually, let me see. Hold on. Oh, I lifted her with the 7 volume. So... I'm just showing you guys the ratio here on my scale for anybody that wants to learn. I typically don't measure whenever I do hair color just because I've been doing it for such a long time. It's just like when you cook, some people use a measuring um, system when they cook and some people just have it, you know, down and that's just me. So do what's more comfortable for you. But now I'm just going in. I did put a backwards bib on her. You guys already know I draped her with a bleach proof towel and a cape. And I'm just going in now and outlining each section. I am going with a frame more. I believe this is the uh, Big Daddy brush. And I'm just going in outlining each section. And then I'm going to go in and split her hair into smaller sections. And then just make sure to saturate her hair with the lightener. Now you want to make sure that whenever you are lightening a client, you are staying about an inch away from the root to so a half an inch. The reason being is because you guys know the heat from your client's scalp will cause the color to process a lot faster. Meaning that if I were to just go in with the blonde on her root and drag it down to the ends, her roots would get so much lighter, so quicker, so much quickly. Oh my God. And um, you don't want to have hot roots, meaning that her roots would be like platinum blonde and her ends would be like a yellowy blonde. We don't want that. So we always do the roots last so that way it has time to process on the ends. So what you're just going to see me do here, I'm just going to take her hair and section it out. I am going to apply the lightener on each section. Once I'm done, I am going to go back through and reapply the lightener on the same exact areas. I just want to make sure that I'm thoroughly saturating. And I do just check to make sure I don't have any gaps or any dark spots. Because sometimes if you take bigger sections, you can miss um, the hair. So you just want to be sure to take smaller sections. Alicia's hair is thick, but at the same time, when you separate it, it gets a little bit thinner. I don't know how to describe that, but I'm just going through it. Basically, one time, this is like my rough draft with the lightener. And then I'm just going to go through again in the same exact pattern and reapply the lightener all over. Once that's good and I feel comfortable, I am going to go and eventually hit her roots at the very end. And I will be going in with the same seven volume um, and just be sure to make sure that her hair does not over process. Um, again, because she let me know that she was having some postpartum shedding and some breakage. I didn't want to take her platinum in one sitting. Typically, um, depending on the client's level, um, you can do it for some clients in the health of the hair. But if I have a client that wants to go platinum, nine times out of 10, I'm taking them in two sessions just because it's a lot on the hair to just take them platinum in one sitting, especially if you're such a dark level such as her. She is about a level two. So we had to lift her about like six levels in this sitting. And I just felt like if we took her platinum in this one session with everything going on, it was going to like blow the cuticle out and damage her hair. So I did consult with her, letting her know, hey, we're going to still do the two-tone, but it's not going to be platinum. It is going to be blonde in the blonde family. But when you come back in about a month and a half to two months, we will go back in and relight in the top to get that platinum. And then I will just tone it differently. So again, you just want to make sure that you're making sure that you are consulting with your client and doing what is best for them. I'm not a hairstylist that's just going to do your hair to take the money because this is a representation of me as a stylist in my work. And I don't want her walking around with her hair breaking off. And then people are like, where'd you go? And they're like, Cassandra. So... 
I'm very thorough when I do my hair color clients. And if something's not gonna work for them, I am very blunt and I let them know prior to me doing the service, this is what I think is best. We can either do it or not, but I'm not just gonna go in and do what I want without consulting my client. So for example, if she showed me platinum blonde, I'm not just gonna go in and make it like a level six or seven without asking her. I'm gonna let her know, I know you want platinum, but we're gonna go here first. And then when your hair gets healthier, over time, we will go to that next level. So that way they kind of know what to expect and there's no surprises. And of course, Alicia was completely open with that. So I just really had fun creating this. And this color was honestly a complete freestyle. I feel like the longest part of this hair appointment was us trying to figure out what color she wanted. She started off wanting red, then she wanted copper, then we were thinking like two-tone, then we were thinking blonde. Then she was like, maybe I should go lighter brown. So we literally consulted for like an hour before our appointment. I typically don't do that. I always do the consultation prior, but I literally only came in just to do her. And she's a really, really dope client of mine. Like I love her. She's in the close friends and everything. So I was like, look, I only came in to do you. So before I start, what do you want? Okay. But um, typically what I do is a color consultation a couple of days prior or maybe a week or two prior to them coming in. So that way I know how to set up what I'm doing. But for Alicia, she gets special treatment because she's a VIP. Okay. So <laughs> with that being said, I'm just going to apply all the color or not color. I'm going to apply the lightener to all the sections. And then again, once I'm done, you're just going to see me going back over each section. I'm not going to include that in the footage just because it's very repetitive. But just know I went over every section twice. Um, and then once I was done, I went over the roots. And then after I was done applying the same formula to the roots, I did go in with a shower cap and I allowed that to process until it got to about a level seven slash eight. And you'll see what I mean in just a few, okay? So if you guys have any questions, you already know you can drop them down below. If you have not already also, please be sure to follow me on Instagram. I have 100,000 less people on Instagram than I do on YouTube, which I understand that everybody has. But if you can just take two seconds and just follow your girl on Instagram, Typically, I post like the snippets of all my colors on there first prior to me posting on YouTube just because it's a minute versus me trying to edit a whole like 20 to 30 minute video. It just takes a lot less time. So if you want to see things before they come on YouTube, please be sure to follow your girl Instagram and just show some love on my content. And I'm happy to announce that I will be auditioning, not auditioning, but I will be in a contest to be on like this TV show. More to come soon. But just know your girl is out here doing big things. OK, in 2022, we are elevating. So, um, again, everything I'm using as well will be in the description box. My flat irons are back in stock. I have 15 left. After those are gone, I may or may not restock. I'm not sure. But if you would like to cop one of those as well, I will link that down below, as well as my discount code for my YouTube subscribers. So just enjoy this part of the video, and I'll be back in just a second. So now that she's lifted all evenly, I am going in with two different formulas because we're going to do two tone, meaning that I'm going to part the top section of her hair and put one formula so it's brighter. And then I'm going to part the bottom section of her hair and do a different formula, which is why I have two different toner bottles. So in the first bottle that you see here, um, which is going to be the top, I'm mixing in 9GI by Redken with 8GI. And I'm going to let that, um, I, I mixed equal parts. So I mixed one ounce of the 9GI, one ounce of the HGI, and then I just filled it all the way up into, um, so technically it's two ounces all together, and then I filled that up into the number six and a half, and then I went ahead and applied that towards the front part of her hair. I did this first rather than mixing both of the formulas together because I didn't want to forget what I was doing. So I'm like, let me mix the blonde first, and then I'll come back and then just add my developer into the second formula. So again, top part is one ounce of 9GI mixed with one ounce of 8GI. Then I mixed it with the processing solution um, with about another like five ounces just to get it to like that seven, okay? My math might be a little bit off, but literally it's, it was to like the number seven or like right below it, okay? So two ounces of the two colors mixed, one ounce of 9GI, one ounce of 8GI, filled it all the way up into the number like six and a half, seven with the processing solution, shook it up, and that's what I'm applying towards the top. Now, the back formula that I'm going to use is Brownstone by Redken as well. I mix five and six in that shade just to give it a little bit more warmth. 
um, and because we lifted our hair and we didn't really know what we were doing we didn't know if we were gonna do blonde all over or dark so I honestly didn't have to lift the back as high but we were freestyling and I wasn't sure so I was like how about I lift you worst case scenario if it's too bright or you want to do something else I can always make you darker but God forbid she wanted to do something that was like all unison or all the same color I didn't want to have to go back into the back and lift it so this was completely optional you don't have to do this but again we freestyle we weren't quite sure what we were going to do so I'm just going to make the back darker and basically when you add color back into the hair or pigment back into the hair you want to just replace the pigments that you remove so her hair you guys saw was a level two which is a dark brown um that has like red undertones golden undertones uh what else like greenish undertones a little bit so i'm just making sure to put those undertones back in so that way her hair doesn't pull muddy in the back meaning that it doesn't look like a greenish color okay you want it to pull very natural and very like brown so whenever you're removing a color and you want to put it back you need to put back in all the colors that you removed okay you can't just put brown on top and think that it's going to be brown you need to put back in the brown with a hint of red with a hint of you know copper with a hint of green whatever you're removing you want to just put it back in the hair so it doesn't look hollow and so that way you have a nice even balance okay i know that's a lot but this is my train of thought and i just want to make sure i'm trying to explain it to you guys as thorough as possible right now as you can see it looks a little muddy um, that's when I went in and mixed that other tone of the brown together. Again, five and six in the black brownstone. And then I was sure to go in with my color shampoo. I used the um, purple shampoo on the top just to neutralize any of the brassiness. And then in the back, I did use my um, green shampoo, which removes any redness just because the sandstone does have like a slight red undertone. And I wanted to make it very, very neutral brown. And you guys will see what I mean in just a second. So you do let these toners process for about 15 to 20 minutes. Just eyeball them. I put the top on first because it's blonde and I wanted that blonde to get a little bit darker. When you, leave, when you leave toner on for a little bit longer than you're supposed to, it makes the hair color darker. So I did the top first with the intention of toning that blonde and really going in and just bringing it to the shade I wanted it to be. And then the back, as you can see, is starting to get darker, but we're just adding in those pigments. So. This is the sand, uh, brownstone and sandstone mixed with um, redkin. My, my apologies. So it's the five and the six. And then the top again is 9GI mixed with 8GI. So literally four different toners that I used to do this color combination. Wasn't sure what I was going to go in with. I literally had to sit there, look at her hair, look at her skin tone. I didn't want it to be too ashy, too brassy, and I didn't want it to pull too close to her skin. So this is the end result so far. This is how it looks when it's wet. And as you can see, she's like more of a sandy level eight at the top. And then this brown at the bottom was just serving. So what I'm going to do is just put in my heat protectant. I blow dry her off camera just because I didn't want this video to be super long. But I did go in with the heat protectant as well as some Olaplex. We did a whole entire treatment. Um, I use that for every client. I didn't add it in this particular video just because I feel like at this point you guys know. But again, I will be sure to add everything down below. And if you guys have any questions, please feel free to DM me or ask. I'm more than um, happy to help you guys, especially those who are learning how to do hair color and those who are scared. But as you can see, look at how balanced the brown is in the back. It's giving like the perfect neutral tone to go with this pretty, pretty golden at the top. And then when I'm ready to go in in a couple months and tone her platinum, it's going to really complement that bottom shade. So this is how she looks up close. I did trim her hair off camera. That was completely on accident. My camera ended up dying. And then I was just showing you guys the two tone at the bottom. So thank you guys so much for watching. And if you can, please just like, comment, and subscribe and follow your girl on Instagram. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.